Some breaking news now to bring you from Saudi Arabia. Uh, Saudi Arabia has stripped the son of the late uh, Al-Qaeda leader Osama bin Laden of his Saudi nationality, we're told. The royal decree was published in the official Gazette. It comes as the United States is offering a million dollar reward for information about Hamza bin Laden. Uh, the US officials say that he is emerging as the leader of the Islamist militant group. In recent years, he's called on followers to take revenge on the US and its allies for the killing of his father, who ordered the 9-11 attacks. Our Washington correspondent, Chris Buckler, reports. The United States has published a wanted poster for Hamza bin Laden, and they believe this is the new face of Al-Qaeda. The group has been responsible for many killings and bombings, but none were more devastating than this. On September the 11th, 2001, its members flew planes into the Twin Towers of New York's World Trade Center, one of a series of murderous attacks on America, apparently masterminded by Osama bin Laden. Almost two decades on, the US has new concerns about Al-Qaeda and its late leader's son. Hamza has, been, has released audio and video messages on the internet calling on his followers to launch attacks against the United States and its Western allies. And he has threatened to attack against the United States in revenge for the May 2011 killing of his father. After a 10-year search, Osama bin Laden was found at a safe house in Pakistan and killed in an operation ordered by the then president, Barack Obama. After a firefight, they killed Osama bin Laden and took custody of his body. In the compound, they found letters that suggested he was grooming his son Hamza to succeed him. And now intelligence officials believe he is emerging as a key leader in the extremist group. Today's Al-Qaeda is not stagnant. It's rebuilding. And it continues to threaten the United States and our allies. The US is offering $1 million for information that leads them to Hamza bin Laden. Officials believe he could be in Afghanistan, Pakistan or Iran, but they admit they don't know for sure. Chris Buckler, BBC News, Washington.